Simple harmonic motion in rough terms is basically the repetition of motion over an extended period of time. Um, it can also be mathematically expressed using functions, which is what we do in this project. And simple harmonic motion is basically like, the best way to describe it is by showing a visual representation, which we can find through real world examples. Like this first example is a Newton's cradle, and the to and fro motion is a good example of how simple harmonic motion looks in real life. Some other real life examples also include a person bouncing on the end of a diving board, a child in a swing, or your cousin's favorite funky car, you know, the one with no shocks that bounces down the road like a low rider every time you hit a bump. Yeah, that was a joke. The rise and set of the sun is also a real life example of harmonic motion, of simple harmonic motion. We know this because we graphed the time that the sun rises and sets for each week of an entire year. We plotted those points on a graph and the points ended up looking kind of like a, like, a, like a snake. And that snake is simple harmonic motion because it's like a repetition of motion and it keeps hitting the same max and min and max and min over and over again. Um, and it, it repeats this pattern forever. So to create our trigonometric functions, we found the max and minimum points in our data. And we used, we did some math. We did some math here. We found, we found the amplitude and the period. Well, the period is 365 days because it's over the period of one year that we're graphing. And we did all this math, this crazy math. That's to find the best fit line, which we did later. So we ended up finding a best fit line, both of us, on each of our graphs, and that's how we created a trigonometric model from the data. That's how we, we got the line. So we also found that the A and the B and the C and the D all affected our graph pretty significantly. A compressed, A compressed the graph vertically, B compressed the graph horizontally, C shifted the graph horizontally, D shifted our graph vertically. So we also found that D was like basically the average time that the sun would rise or set. A was represented like the shift between and B and C, they were there. Um, the purpose of modeling this data was to be able to better understand the connection between the sunrise and sunsets and simple harmonic motion and how the pattern of sunrise and sunsets is simple harmonic motion and how that applies to real life and how that can become sine and cosine and how math is real and life is real. And scientists can use this to figure out, to predict. Scientists can use this to predict for the future and like when the sun will rise and when it will set because it generally follows this exact line. And if it's not exact, then it's almost exact. So yeah, that's simple harmonic motion. Thank you.